found something out in the transition as well, which is really, really important. You know, there's, a, there's such a big hit impulse from the top of the swing, and I'm guilty of myself when I'm hitting shots here. Straight away, I can tell I was too quick in the transition. It was rushed, right? So imagine a swing in a park, because again, this is exactly how your swing works and how the transition is going to work for you as well. So you got a swing, got the kid in the swing, you, you know, they give him a push and it starts swinging back and through, doesn't it? Okay. What you do when the, the swing is swinging down, you, you let it come down a little bit before you push the seat, don't you? All right. So you let it, you let it change direction. So it's swinging back. Okay. It finishes its cycle. It comes down and then, and then you push it. Yeah. You push the momentum to speed it up. So what's going to happen, and we've all done this, what's going to happen if you push too soon, all right? Kids going back, you push a little bit early, okay, the, the chains lose tension, all right? Kids shaking around and everything's going all over the place, all right? Same thing happens with your club, the G4 swing trainer. When you transition, if, if you don't time it, if you don't do it smooth enough, um, if you don't get it right, you know, if you, you're coming down before, the swing's finished its its back swing cycle and started down, then you're gonna get this wobble in, in the in the shaft. You're gonna feel it. So it's really smoothing that transition out. And the, the down swing is a gradual acceleration. So we're not looking to go from you know when the swing stops, we don't wanna go down like super super quick. We're going quick because I can show you that in gears in 3D where the hands go from you know slowing down and stopping and accelerating to zero to 20 mile an hour to about the halfway point and then and then they slow down again as the club releases so you know that they accelerate but it's not like a, a forced one it's gradual it's like the swing coming down it's, it's coming down on its own uh, weight or momentum and then and then as it comes down it's building speed we can then catch that momentum and push it. Okay, your swing works the same, we come down. It's really hard to do. You feel like you're not gonna hit the ball anywhere, right? But trust me, right, you come down slow and then you feel the weight, right? You feel the weight of the club, you feel the momentum, and it's something you've probably never felt before in your life. But you feel it, you catch it, like the swing, you feel that swing, and then you push it. I say push it, you, you, you're more sort of pulling, pulling through to speed it up. But it, it does feel like that, it feels like you're catching that weight and you can feel it. And it's an unbelievable feeling because you, you just, you know you've got it. And that's how the best players in the world swing. And that's how they can repeat it over and over again. Um, you know, hit the, the sweet spot consistently out in the middle over and over again. Shape the ball, do what they want with it because they've got that, that move, they've got the physics of the swing, everything's working properly. Um, obviously in the golf swing, we're not continually rotating, so we, do, we don't keep spinning around like this, it doesn't happen like that. There's a point where, I mean, that was just to show you the, the forces in the swing, but there's a point where we, we come down and, and the hands and arms actually decelerate, they slow down and, and the, the shaft and the club head kick forward.